As the night guard retreats, the forest goes quiet for a few moments. Then, the first rays of light filter through and it erupts into a resounding dawn chorus. But there is so much more to these sounds than what meets the ear. Birds and animals make different sounds for different reasons. To attract a mate, or to even set off an alarm. But why are scientists eavesdropping? Let us explain. Scientists have been trying to understand this wild orchestra for decades, resulting in the field of bioacoustics. Researchers record sounds in nature, from bird calls to rainfall, to study how creatures communicate with each other and interact with their environment. Analyzing these recordings from dense forests and the depths of oceans can give us answers on the species that are present in a habitat, how healthy their population is, and even how they respond to habitat destruction or human disturbance. Their special tool? The spectrogram. The spectrogram is a visual depiction of sounds in a landscape. All these squiggly lines are the vocalizations of multiple species of birds, insects and mammals. Understanding these vocalizations has led to astonishing discoveries. Researchers have been able to record the song of blue whales from waters near Kerala confirming their presence along the Indian coast. Decode a complex communication system among the cacophonous babblers in Punjab and even analyze the health of forests in the Western Ghats. To an untrained eye, a protected forest and the one that has seen human interference and destruction may both look lush and green. Recordings from the area show otherwise. The difference is stark and telling of the health of an ecosystem. Scientists feel that the field of bioacoustics can help aid conservation, as it allows us to study the effect of external man-made noises like horns, traffic or even a bulldozer on forest biodiversity. The possibilities are endless. So the next time you hear a frog croaking in your backyard, listen in.